how do you prevent battery draining with iOS 18? So as you may know, with iOS 18 and iOS 18 beta especially, there are some battery draining problems. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you all some tips on how you can hold on to your battery. So my first tip for you all is downgrading back to iOS 17. So as you can see here, my iPhone has been downgraded back to iOS 17.5.1. And you could also do this using the link in the description. And you could also do this on the iPad. And one thing you should be aware of when you downgrade your iPhone is that when you downgrade to an older iOS version, you will lose all your information and all the data on your phone unless you have a backup from iOS 17. So if you had an iOS 18 backup on your phone, you can't load that in an earlier iOS version. Now my next tip for you all is disabling airdropping. So in order to do this, just go ahead and open control center and hold down on this section and then press on this airdropping symbol and tap on receiving off. Now this won't make a huge difference, but if you use all my other tips, then it should all add up and make a huge difference with your battery life. Now my next tip for you all is disabling internet whenever you're not using it. So if you're not using your phone or you're playing an offline game, then this will be the perfect time to disable it. And this tip will actually save you a lot of battery. Now my next tip for you all is setting a black background. So this is gonna make your iPhone screen darker, which is gonna help you save a lot of battery. And basically in order to do this, just head over to your lock screen and go over to the lock screen customization. Then scroll down to the bottom and press on color. Then you can set the gradient to whatever you want, but just press on this button on the bottom right corner and select black. And that's pretty much how you do it. Now my next tip for you all would be to disable background app refresh. So this should be pretty easy. Just head over to settings, then down to general and go down to background app refresh and it's located right below the iPhone storage. And once you're here, just disable whichever apps you don't want running in the background. And if you just disable it entirely, then that should save you a lot of battery. Now to hold on to your battery life long term, just head back into settings and down to battery. And then head over to battery health and charging and just make sure that optimized battery charging is on. And when you enable this feature, your iPhone battery won't age as much. And that's basically going to help your iPhone battery stay preserved long term. Now this one seems more obvious, but there's not enough people who do this. And basically this tip is enabling low power mode. And you can do this by going into the control center in settings, then scroll down to low power mode and just enable that. And now whenever you open control center, you'll see that you'll have the option to enable low power mode. And this does actually help preserve your battery quite a lot. And it does also turn down your screen brightness. There's more information about low power mode on the screen. So just pause the video to read more about it. Now this next feature is going to involve disabling your notifications. So you can do this by going into settings, then go over to the notification center. And over here, just disable notifications for whichever apps that you don't want to get notifications from. Now my final tip for you all is going to be putting on a battery case. So I don't have one of these, but they normally do stick out quite a bit. And this is normally about how much it sticks out. And most people don't realize just how much this helps, but it makes your iPhone battery last several times longer. And normally you could buy these for about 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon. And I will have some links in the description in case you want to get one of these yourself, but you could also just search it up on Amazon and it does really help out long term. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you all found my battery tips helpful and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what video you want to see next.